guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Sinem and I'm here for you every single week with new beauty content. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the brand new MAC Bronzing Summer Collection 2020. I'm so excited for this one. I have been dying to get my hands on it. It came out in the UK, I believe two weeks ago maybe. For my UK viewers, I will have links to everything down below because it is out right now. So if you do wanna get any of these things or check them out, I will have links down below. And for my US viewers, I believe this collection comes out in May for you, I could be wrong. So when the collection does come out in the US, I will have links for you guys in the US down below as well. Or if you're watching this video and the collection is already out in the US, then I will probably still have links down below as well anyway. I bought a a good range of products from the eyeshadow to the lipsticks, lip gloss, bronzer, and highlighter, and all that stuff. So, I wanted to give you kind of like a little dive into the collection. If you are new to my channel, I also did a MAC Petal Power collection video and also a loud and clear collection. So, enough rambling, I do show you a demo throughout the video of products and try them on and I pretty much do this for face whilst talking about the product and reviewing them. Let's talk about the packaging for a second. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is almost like a, it is a bronze packaging. The lipsticks look like that. Honestly, MAC really come through with the packaging on all of their limited edition collections. So enough about the packaging, we're gonna go straight into bronzer. So the first bronzer I have is the Radiant Matte Bronzer. Now I was a little bit like, Radiant Matte? I've never heard of anything that's been called Radiant Matte before. The shade I have is Beijing Beauty. They have two shades and this is the lightest of the two. So it is described as a light yellow brown. So with this being a radiant matte bronzer, as I was applying it, I did find that I didn't really see any shimmer or a sheen coming from the bronzer. It pretty much went on super matte. I will say the formula was really different as opposed to max bronzers that they usually have in their permanent line. I do feel like maybe the formula is slightly different in this and maybe that's why it's like a radiant matte. Um, but when I applied it, it literally went on like a true matte and the formula was so buttery and smooth and it just looks really, really nice on the skin. And I will say one thing that I wasn't keen on is that this is supposed to be a lighter shade for fair to light skin tones. However, I still found that it was a little bit dark on my skin. I did have to go in and blend it out afterwards and then it was okay. So I will say with a product like this, if you are super fair like me, just be mindful, use a very light hand with this product. It's almost like a light taupey warm shade. It's not orangey whatsoever. It's not really ashy as well. It's just the perfect bronzer shade for light skin tones. However, I still found it was a little bit too dark. I also wanted to mention the way I applied it was with the Morphe M405 contour brush. I found that this was the best brush to use because it really buffed it out nicely and applied it really nicely as well. So I do recommend the bronzer and I would say maybe just use a light hand if you are fair. And then to finish off the look, I topped it off with a MAC blusher in Gingerly. I found that a blusher like this was perfect to go with the bronzer. It is just a neutral blush. It's not a peachy blush, it's just a neutral blush. And I just found that this went on really, really nicely on top of that bronzer and they both blended well nicely. So let's dive into the next product. And the next product is the one I'm most excited to talk about and it is what's giving me this glow. I mean, look at my forehead. So this is the MAC Strobe Face Glaze. This is a new product by them. It is limited edition, unfortunately. I hope MAC make this permanent. The shade I have is Magic Hour and it is described as a golden pinky peach. It is spot on with that description. So the Strobe Face Glaze is basically a liquid highlighter, but it's not a liquid highlighter. It's described on Mac's website as a iridescent glossy face highlighter, and it's supposed to give you the most softest, dewiest glow. So I do want to mention that this is a gloss formula. It is a face gloss. So the texture is gonna be like a lip gloss would be. It's not a liquid highlighter that you would usually find. It is a face gloss. And I didn't know that as I was applying it to the cheeks 
and at first I was a little bit skeptical because I was scared that it was going to be too sticky or it was just going to be, you know, it's going to look too glossy, but the formula is so different and something that I've never tried before, I don't think has been invented before. It is a gloss, but it's a non-sticky gloss and the color is so beautiful. They have a variety of shades in the strobe face glazes. So if you are deeper, then they do have a nice bronzy shade for you. So I did apply it with my fingers and I found that was the best way. Do not use a brush with this product. Use your finger, it's gonna be the best tool when applying a product like this, especially because of the formula. And I would just go in with a pea-sized amount and just tap it into the cheekbones. You can pretty much put this anywhere i can even imagine this looking so beautiful on the collarbone and it is a non-sticky formula so it's really gonna glide on and just melt into the skin it's almost like vaseline that is the texture but without the stickiness or anything like that it doesn't give you too much color it's almost like a clear gloss and then it just has a tint of a kind of golden shimmer to it. It has just the slightest sheen. It's not shimmery, it's not glittery. It is just giving you a wet look, a glossy look, which is exactly what they intended it to be. So they are definitely spot on with the description of the product. I think this is such a game changer. If you are looking for a wet, glossy highlighter, if you're looking for something that's gonna give you dewy skin, but you don't wanna use a typical liquid highlighter that has too much shimmer in it and glitter in it, this is perfect because it's almost like a clear gloss and it's just going to make the skin look wet in the most natural way possible. It's going to look like you have beautiful natural oils just peeking through. If you are oily, I would still use this, but maybe just powder in certain places. Don't be scared of it if you are oily. So as you can see, I did apply it to the nose and the forehead and I just absolutely love the just the glow it gave and the dewiness and just how wet my face looks but in the nicest way possible it looks very very healthy it looks like i drank a lot of water so that is the mac strobe face glaze and i really do hope that they do this permanently because I think it is such a game changer. If you are a makeup artist as well, this would be a great one to put on your clients. It is pretty much like a fashion week product is what I would say it is. So now I am moving on to the foiled eyeshadow. Now they do have a few shades of this as well in the collection. This shade intrigued me. I don't know why. I mean, there's probably plenty shades like this everywhere, but this shade is called Mono Coco and I just love it. So MAC describes this one as a warm, rich, metallic brown. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful packaging once again. And it has almost like a textured um, layer. And it is just the most beautiful, bronzy, taupe eyeshadow. It's not warm. It's almost a cool toned brown. I think this is so flattering on every single skin tone. And I'm just going to swatch that for you. It doesn't look that shimmery on the hand, but as you can see, I have it on my lid and this is all that I used. I did not use anything else, nothing in the crease, nothing in the inner corner. This is one of those products where it looks super wet on the eyes. Now I do go in with my finger as well and I do feel like it probably works best using your finger because you get more of a wet shimmery look as you can see so I absolutely love this product it is just a typical metallic eyeshadow but it's very different as well MAC always do great with their eyeshadow formulas and I absolutely love how foiled it looks on the eyes and especially the shade I just feel like if you were to buy one of the foiled eyeshadows Definitely get the Monococo shade because I feel like it's such a neutral shade and you can't go wrong with it. It's literally going to be so flattering on you. Moving on to lips, which is probably what everyone wanted to see. So I did buy three lipsticks and one gloss. They did have five lipsticks in the collection, I believe. And I got three of the five and then they did have maybe four glosses and I got only one because the other shades didn't stand out to me. So the first lipstick I wanna talk about is called A La Plage, I think is how it's pronounced. 
Again, lipstick is super pretty, and this one is a luster finish, so it's gonna be a very sheer lipstick, just bear that in mind. A luster by MAC is a lipstick that is super sheer and almost moisturizing, kind of like a lip balm, but just has a little bit of a tint of color, so this is perfect for summer. And a la plage or a la plage, however you pronounce that, is described as a light nude with slight gold pearl. I really like the shade i mean it's it almost looks like nothing on the lips but it gives you just the lightest bronzy tint to the lips and it just looks really really nice i guess because of that gold shimmer it just makes your lips look really plump and juicy and i think this would be perfect for spring and summer i feel like a lipstick like this again a shade like this would suit every single skin tone no matter what skin tone you are i feel like this shade would be very flattering on everyone so a la plage again is a beautiful kind of light bronzy beigey pink the next color is called Cote d'Amour I think I'm saying that right and this is a amplified cream formula so this one is a different formula and the amplified cream formulas are basically very creamy lipsticks and they are super pigmented I'm actually wearing it right now this is the one I'm wearing Cote d'Amour and as you can see it has a sheen it's like a creamy, glossy lipstick. It doesn't dry down to a matte. It does stay like this, as you can see. So this one is described as a bright fuchsia by MAC. It definitely is a very bright pink. I think this would look amazing if you are fair like me. It will really just look super bold and loud if you do like that. And it's perfect for summer. Again, it is just a fun pink summer lipstick. And I do love the formula. It's super, super opaque and pigmented, as you can see by the way it's going on. You don't even need to top it up. I feel like this would wear really nicely throughout the day. It does leave a stain, a slight stain afterwards as well. And I definitely love this color. So again this one is Cote d'Amour and yeah it's a bright fuchsia and it's a beautiful formula and I wouldn't pass this one up. And so that is that shade and we are going to move on to our last lipstick and then we'll move on to the gloss afterwards. So now the next lipstick is called Cans Do and this one is a luster lipstick as well. So I was kind of disappointed because I think every shade is a luster in this collection apart from Cote d'Amour, I believe, which is an amplified cream. But Cans Do is a luster and it looks like this. It is described as a bright orange by MAC and it definitely is a bright orange. Now with this one, I was slightly disappointed when applying it because I felt like a color like this really needs to be either a matte or an amplified cream. I feel like if you're gonna do a bright, bold color, then you might as well make it opaque. And it was this very sheer, bright orange. It, I just feel like if you want to do a bright orange, make it opaque and it will just stand out a lot more. I feel like with this one, you can see I had to really go in to just build up that color. So I did have to build this one up. Nonetheless, it is a really stunning color. It is a beautiful orange, again, perfect for summer and it is more of a glossy finish, but I did feel like I had to keep going back in with this. What I'm gonna do really quickly is just swatch these for you. So again, this one is Cans Do. I wanna swatch them on the hand so you can see the formula and the color on my hand as opposed to my lips because my lips are naturally pink. Coat that and more. Swatch that one. Like, look how bright that is. I just absolutely love that one. It's the one I'm wearing now. This one is a beautiful shade. I think you should definitely buy these lipsticks, but the one I would say to get is A La Plage. I think that is the most beautiful neutral lipstick for every single skin tone. And finally, the lip gloss. I am so excited to talk about this one because you know I love MAC lip glosses. So the gloss I wanna talk about is called Out Of This Pearl, and it is described as a clear gloss with gold pearl. And that's exactly what it is. You can see how shiny and shimmery and glittery this lip gloss is. It does have glitter in it, just be mindful. It is not a pearly gloss it's definitely a more glitter gloss but it is the most beautiful gold lip gloss or clear lip gloss with gold shimmer to it so this one 
just went on so nicely. I put it on by itself. I didn't have a lipstick or anything underneath. It wasn't sticky whatsoever. It just went on really, really nicely. And I love the gold shimmer on just bare lips. I feel like in summer, what would be amazing is if you were to just put a gloss like this on top of bare lips. Don't have a lipstick underneath and I think it would just look amazing on natural lips, especially in the sunlight. It is just gonna look amazing when taking pictures or even if you're around people. That is pretty much everything in this collection that I wanted to show you guys. Of course, they have a few other things in the collection that I didn't get, but I felt like this was enough to give you an idea of the collection and the colors and how they perform. Let me know down below if you're gonna get anything from this collection, what you loved from this collection, what you're not gonna get, what you loved on me. Let me know your thoughts. The products that I highly recommend for you guys is the MAC Strobe Face Glaze. I think you should definitely buy this. I also think the lipstick in A La Plage where is it? This one. I think everyone would absolutely love this shade on. And the other thing I would highly recommend is the foiled eyeshadow in Monococo. I think it is the most beautiful foiled wet eyeshadow. Seriously, it's just a beautiful shade and the formula is really, really creamy on the eyes as well. It's not a powdery drying eyeshadow. So that is the ones that I would recommend. Of course, the lip gloss as well, even the bronzer. To be honest, I recommend the collection. It just depends on what colors you guys would get, but these are the colors that I bought. So as usual, that is it from me and I hope everyone is keeping safe and busy. And until next time, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,